Staircase animation. See the shoes? They're off now. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome back for more. Let's play Shenmue. I am Hunter, the one who is there for a polar bear. And in the last part, we dealt with a very annoying stealth section and finally met up with Master Chen, who told us that apparently this guy just watch the last video. You'll you'll know. And in this part, we're going to look for that second mirror that apparently exists somewhere in our house. Not in the dojo, but in a house. So, any guesstimates as to where it may or may not be? Actually, first things first, I probably should save. Because, you know, I haven't got the chance to do that yet. Not for a while. So we're going to save. By pressing the save button. Yay! Actually, it might take a while to estimate and... I I'm guessing. Just just possibly guessing. But I'm guessing you can go back on disc one, but all you can basically do is feed the cat and whatever. And maybe, maybe, just a maybe, your money would carry over from the progress on either disc. Either of the three, I mean. So, yeah, I'm hoping that may or may not be the case. Anyways, hi, grandmother of Rio. Um, Inesan? Yes, what is it? Do you know well, about that day? Have you remembered anything? No, and I do. I get chills. Oh. By the way, Fukuhara san was looking for you. Fukuhara san? Huh? Fukuhara san is? Okay, it was Fukuhara san. Whoops, I on that pop up thing in that one video. So apparently, Fukuhara san is looking for us. Where is he? Is he in the dojo? I'm betting he's in the dojo. And I bet he has something for us. I wonder if it could be the medallion. Wouldn't that be just quite a shock if it was the medallion we were looking for this whole time? That would be amazing! Actually, considering that Rio wrote it down in his notebook, that's probably the case. <laughs> that probably is the case. He probably does have medallion or mirror number two. And where is Fukuhara san other than in the dojo or walking around outside the house? So let's let's go to the dojo and hope that he's there. Otherwise, Ryo's going to have to hurt him badly, very very badly. Oh no! Wait, he's right there outside the tree. I don't know why. Maybe it's an emotional scene. Uh, uh, Fuxa. Huh? Um, real son, I. What is it, Fuxa? Yeah, what is it? I'm sorry. I told Ine-san. Uh, what did you tell her? I told her what you're doing. I told her everything I know. Uh. You what? Oh, I, I am gonna have to hurt I you, aren't I? Just couldn't help myself. And Ine-san needed to know. You little snitch! How do Fuxa. you? I'm really sorry. It's okay. Oh, okay. Fuxa. Do you know anything about the Phoenix Mirror? The what? The Phoenix Mirror? Yes, the Phoenix Mirror. My father may have had it. No, I've never heard him say anything about a mirror. What about that other mirror yeah. then? Hinesan might know something about it though. But I just uh, give the fit the okay. Let's go ask her. We just asked her! And she said she didn't want to repress memories about it. But I guess now she's okay oh, with it. Hinesan. Son talks very loud, doesn't he? Little bit. Huh? I just heard the two of you talking. Either that or, you know, sound travels. We were talking? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to eavesdrop. <sighs> just a little bit. Oh, it's okay. No, it wasn't. But then, who could tell the son of Iwao Hazuki to stay out of trouble? I hate to say it, but I feel like I'm letting your father down. Just a little bit. I... I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Ryo-san, I don't know if this will help or not. But there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when Azuki sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. The 
is that maybe we have to go to back. Go back. Antique shop. Yes, we have antique shop. Do you know of any? Maybe we could conveniently teleport or not. I thought we were gonna conveniently teleport there. I guess we're gonna have to walk there. Does it teleport us there? Only one way to find out. Let us open the door. And we do have to walk there. So why then there is more than one disc? No idea. Weird. Very weird indeed. I'm gonna keep a corner and cast something. Oh, we can see the cat now. You and I have a lot in common. Our parents died on the same day. Rio. Oh. oh. Nozomi. Oh. oh. Nothing. You always say nothing. Uh, you never tell me anything. Uh, it's not like that. It's just. There was a kid. It was so cute. You need to talk to me, okay? No, okay. screw you. Screw you. Your emo. Take care of yourself. Or just really emotional. Yeah. In the negative way. But still, kitty. Oh my God. That cat just got 10,000 times more adorable, and for no reason, other than it is so goddamn adorable. I mean, look at that. It's a kitty! You're still so <laughs> Wait, wait, weren't we doing something? Oh, right, going to the antique shop. God damn it, the kitty was so distracted, I completely forgot about it. Assuming I don't run into anything there, tell a bar. Also, kitty. Keep the kitty's memory in your mind forever. You will remember Chebe as a god. Or just something really, really cute you'll just remember for anyways. Forever, forever. And anyways, teleport! No. Ah. Nozomi. Making any progress? Yes. We're yeah. To. I found something my father left for me. Your father? Yeah. See you later. Yeah. That was pointless. Continuing on. And here we are at the antique store with closes at 10 p.m. Actually, not 10 p.m. Wait, does it? I don't know. It says 10 to 10. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh oh. It's a cutscene. Excuse cut me. This can't be good. It's gonna be like a bowl in a china shop or something in here. Oh, oh. clock! That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? Where did you come from? It was from? made especially for that butterfly woman. You know Madam Butterfly, don't you? Not really. No. Actually, I don't at all. You, your Hazuki Sensei. Son, yes. Oh my, that was a terrible thing. Your father. Yes. Ah. I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it? Huh? Search. Where did I put it? Oh, yes. It was very important, so I put it here. Um, where? Wait, wait, what is that, anyways? Really, you just put it on your desk so that anybody can practically take it? He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. You know, you gotta put it somewhere just a little bit safer, for dude. My father, it's given to the Hazuki heirs 
Once they turn 18, oh my god, convenient, Rio is 18, Oh. Passed down from generation to generation. At least I think he's 18. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's 18, by this point. I mean... Yay, we got this! Father... Wait, this isn't the specific If there's anything thing. I can do for you, please let me know. Alright. Hazuki Sensei was always there for me when I needed him. Was there anything else that he asked you to hold for him? Anything at all? Anything else? Yes, that's what I asked. Like a mirror, called the Phoenix Mirror. A Phoenix Mirror? Hmm... Sorry, I don't know of any mirror. I have a medallion, but oh, that's okay. certainly not a mirror. I mean, really, you can't fit that in your back pocket, Thank no, you sir. Much. Unless that is the Phoenix Mirror, wouldn't that be quite a plot twist? No, but seriously, wonder if that is the Phoenix Mirror. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be surprising to me in the least. No, sir, it would not. Oh yeah, I got a thing. Dad left me the Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This thing has an oddly shaped thing to it. Almost like a thing we've seen before. Um, is there another one? Oh yes, there is. Now I know what to do with these two mystical magical objects we have attained. Unfortunately, we get to save for the next part. Um... I actually might go to my house and save, so if I m do encounter anything on the way there that may or may not be story related, then yeah, I'll do that, but for now, teleport. Or that weird thing that looks like I'm teleporting, but basically fast forwarding through time or whatever. Time space rift thing. Go! And what do you know? I was right. We would encounter something on the way back. But watch. Quick time event of random? Probably. Get a mind control already. And oh. oh. Shit. Hi. No way. You're working with Landy? How did you guess? Wait, who is this? Who's. If I was. Plot twist! Ah, oh, oh, balls. You... Really? This guy, uh, come on! Guanji, okay. Brawl time! Yay! Yo, oh, wait, hey, what the heck? You can't do that, dude! Not fair! Not fair, man, you just attacked me before I even got the chance to move! Ooh, suplex! Oh, he's a tough cookie! Okay! Unfortunately, you are sucky at 3D fighting games. Ah! No, don't! Ah. Yes, we beat him! Okay, God, that was close. And just a little bit challenging. If I continue... Then I'll fail as your bodyguard. Then why did you fight me in the first place? Bodyguard? Well, well that was kind of real spot, actually. To guard you. What? What? What is this? Calm down. If you don't live, it'll be a problem for us. What you mean? You were the last You Suzuki. still don't realize your role, do you? Um, uh, no. If Lan Di gets that mirror, It'll be the end of the world, right? No one can stop him. Pretty much. Hurry and find that mirror. Oh, I'll kill you and your babies, even though you, you haven't made it yet. Anything. And then he walks into the wall, never to be seen again. Oh no! Oh no! We are being watched. It did. Who the <laughs> frig is this the guy? Sama, the Phoenix Mirror. Go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> it is Gollum, what the hell? <laughs> what was that all about? Oh shit! That ain't good, Sean. That ain't good.
Shun. You know what? Screw waiting to get back to the house. Next time on Let's Play Shenmue, we are going. I'm going to meet you back at the house, and we are going to figure out what those totally unknown objects that we have do. So until then, see you later, and goodbye.